Sounds like you're having a tough time. I've been there. So I kind of know what you're talking about. I've been in the ever-cycling vortex of self-doubt, anxiety, frustration. It's no good. Trust me. I know. Let me share a few things with you that hopefully will help the pain to subside. Sometimes it just gets hard. Let's be honest. It just gets hard and you want to quit. You just want to check out. And I think in those moments that we've got to not only remember why we started, but we've got to get really clear on the anti-vision. And that anti-vision is what you do not want. I'm going to give you four rules that if you can obey, if you can make these rules a command, I believe not only will the pain subside, but perhaps transformation could take place on the inside. Rule number one, there are no more zero days. What is a zero day? A zero day is when you don't do a single solitary thing towards whatever your dream or goal is in this life. I want you to make a conscious decision that there will be no more zero days. This means that when the day is over and you look up and it's 11.58 at night, you did something. No more zero days. I mean, I don't care if it was one push-up, one sit-up, one page of the book. You feel me? But just make a decision that there will be no more zero days. You see, when you're in the vortex of being bummed and you are trapped in the pattern of self-sabotaging behavior, you get used to it. And the only way you are going to break out is with a massive string of consistent non-zero days. That's rule number one. At some point, you gotta sit back and think to yourself, you know what? I've been here too long. I've thought like this too long. I've hurt too long. I've been fractured long enough. I've been broken long enough. I've been mad long enough. I've been depressed long enough. You know what? I've been here too long. It's time for me to go. Rule number two, that you are going to have to be grateful to the three U's. Call it mumbo jumbo if you want to. Newsflash, the three U's are the past you, the present you, and the future you. There's more left in that tank. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have what it takes. There is more left in your tank. Keep striving. We've got to get into this pace of grace where we are pacing ourselves and we're honoring our journey and we're honoring the people that have been planted in our lives. Let me tell you something you already know. There are enough people who have not believed in you. There are enough people who have walked away from you. There are enough people who told you, you don't have what it takes. You don't measure up. You will not finish. Don't be the weapon that is formed against you. There are enough people that are counting you out. There are enough people that are saying you can't finish. Do not join them. Somebody somewhere believes in you. Even if they're not close to you, somebody is rooting for you to keep going. Somebody is hoping that you don't quit. They are believing that you will be the difference maker, the game changer in your family. Rule number three, you are going to have to forgive yourself. I mean it. Maybe you have all the know-how, the money, the ability, strength, and talent to do whatever you want to do. But let's say you still don't do it. Now you're going to give yourself a tough time for not doing what you need to do. Pick your head up. Being disappointed in yourself causes you to be less productive. If you can forgive yourself, you can be healed from the past, equipped for the present, and cast vision for the future. It is in our nature to be very disempowering, pessimistic, negative people. Sometimes we just don't feel like 
moving forward, but I need you to know that there are people who are depending on you. There are people that believe in you. There are people that are rooting for you and they are expecting you to win. I need you to wake up in this new day, in this moment, and seize the opportunity. You are alive for a reason. Remember this, action and adaptability create opportunity. Adapt and overcome and watch everything change before your eyes. So adaptability is the quality, the gift, the ability to adapt to new circumstances. Adaptability is the capacity to be modified for a new purpose, to be moved this way and still punch through targets and reach my goals and be everything I've been called to be, but I've got to adapt to the times. Adaptability requires movement. Adaptability requires growth. Adaptability requires wisdom and knowledge and understanding and revelation and awareness. We've got to be able to recognize when we're outdated, when we need an upgrade, when we've got to go to that next level, and I can't be embarrassed about it. Adaptability is not buckling under pressure. Adaptability is understanding that in order for me to have this lifestyle that I see in my head, I'm going to have to raise my standards. This is an adjustment. This is a modification that in times past, this version of me was good enough, but it only got me where I am. And in order for me to go to that next level, something inside of me has to change. Rule number four is the easiest, and it's three words. Exercise and books. That's it. Pretty standard advice. But when you exercise daily, you actually get smarter. You get crystal clear about the road ahead. When you exercise, you position yourself to win the war. When you exercise and you push yourself, you will test the limitations of your soul and you will become crystal clear, both internally and externally, that all you have is all you need. Someday, at some point in your life, you're going to be able to look back and say, man, I'm so glad I didn't quit. And not only you, but somebody else is waiting to walk up to you in your near future and say, I was watching you the whole time. I saw when you wanted to quit, when you were almost ready to give up and throw in the towel. And I just want to thank you for not quitting. That one life, one life could touch the lives of millions. I need you to believe in this moment that you are safe, you are supported, People believe in you. Just stay determined that you have everything that you need to continue on marching forward. You are a phenomenal human being. You are worth the work. Your future is worth fighting for. So when you face storm, when you face adversity, when you face trial, when you face tribulation, in the eye of the storm, in the middle, in the core of your devastation, when you are faced with opposition, that's when you raise the heat. You don't change your message, you change your methodology. Are you understanding me? Adaptability is not buckling under pressure. Adaptability is not losing your moral compass. Adaptability is raising your voice. And so the harder life hits me, the harder I'm going to fight, the harder I'm going to believe, the harder I'm going to keep pushing, I'm going to keep going, I will persevere, and I'm going to build resilience. And so the harder life hits, the stronger I get. You've got problem-solving skill. You've got a resilience. You have a determination. You have a measure of commitment that nobody in the room has because you've been able to adapt. The moves that you are making are going to impact the lives of so many people that are depending on you to continue. So you got this. You can't quit. There are people that you have not even met yet that are waiting to meet you. It doesn't matter how broken, how weary and devastated you are right now. That pain will not last forever. At some point, it will subside. And when it does, discipline, resilience, fire, passion, power, 
would take his place. So keep going because it's all worth it in the end. If you're gonna be fully persuaded about anything, persuade yourself to keep going. And the more that you influence you, you will influence the world. So keep going until you have won some small victory for humanity. It's one tweak away. It's one adjustment away. It's one modification away. I know it hurts, but you'll be healed once you make this move. You've lived here too long. You've thought like this long enough. You've behaved like this long enough. You've been triggered long enough. Come on, you've had buttons for too many years. And people have been given permission long enough to push your buttons, to trigger you, to punk you, to corner you, to box you in, to put the lids and put the labels all over you. And you have just conformed to this place of misery. It's time to break through. You've lost long enough. You've been in your learning season long enough. It's time to apply what you've learned. It is time. It's time. It's time. Believe it. Walk in it. You owe you. Forgive you. And get on with the rest of your life. And you can read them if you want. You can read them again later if you feel like it. But honestly, man, if I spend all this time typing this out to you, and you don't allow it to be a tender to your fire, well, you're just letting us both down. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything. But you get to choose. <laughs>